Why are you touching my butt? Because. Now the world knows. Uh, in this episode of Old Guy Rock Show, uh, Bonnaroo has an app, and we're going to look at our schedule. Yep. Oh, and this is Darcy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone. Sorry it's been so long. Uh, I have been having back problems and chest problems and old guy problems. So uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. But we are, as of recording this, three days away from going to Nashville and going to Bonnaroo. Uh, so we wanted to do a little video and uh, figure out what groups we want to see and kind of like see what our, uh, what our, uh, like... Music festival breakup. Well, right. what, what are what are non-negotiable like things that we have to go to are so we can kind of uh, orchestrate what our schedule is going to look like. So, uh, Bonnaroo, uh, jokingly aside, we were saying like Bonnaroo hasn't released an app in so long because of the pandemic and because of getting rained out for one year. And last year they didn't have one. So we were kind of joking the other day that they uh, will probably not put an app out and then they put an app out the next day, literally. So uh, we're gonna go through the app and uh, go through the schedule. I have not looked at the schedule yet. You've looked at the schedule, right? A little bit. Okay. Um, I have not, so this is all gonna be news to me. Um, I did download it and logged in and all that shit. And I noticed that they have stuff starting on Tuesday now. Uh, we're not gonna get there till Thursday, probably afternoon. Um, so we'll see what we can get to on the first day and then we'll go from there. So let's record this. How lovely Kyle texted me. Okay, so let's go through the app. You can just look up here, obviously. I'm uh, gonna go on the schedule. So yeah, for that Tuesday, obviously we're not gonna be there. Are we going in Wednesday? No, we're going on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here is going to be the real question when we want to get there because we need to see what's going on. Is there anything on Thursday that you're even aware of that you want to see? Yes. What? Uh, you gotta scroll down. <laughs> uh, okay. Winona Fighter? That's an amazing name. I think it's not until... Oh, um... Who was the chick that opened for Father John Misty? Suki Waterhouse. Suki Waterhouse is playing Thursday. I Thursday believe. night, okay. Or evening. What? Uh, when does stuff actually start? At like twelve thirty. Christ. Uh, CVC, I do want to see. They're really good. They have a song called uh, "You Heard Me Play It." It's uh, "Doc in My Pay." Really, really good tune. Add that to my sketch. Ooh, uh, they give you reminders. That's cool. Uh, thirty minutes before. I feel like 15 is not enough to get to yeah, places, but it's there. gonna be the first thing, so it's like, who gives a shit? Uh, Briscoe is another kind of good singer songwriter band of the two. I don't know if they're brothers or just like friends or whatever, but I will add it. Fuck it. All this stuff's close. I mean, one cool thing about the first day, or I guess the first days uh, before Friday essentially, um, is that everything is in a tent. So it's really easy to get to. So it's like you can bounce around pretty quick and it's still pretty empty because people are getting off work and whatnot, obviously. I don't know any of these people. <laughs> the name Ezra Furman looks familiar, but. The hydroponics with garden. Well, no, team. that's like they have everything in here. So you can actually like do it by stage because the academy is like their little workshop thing. In Senaru or is it? It's in Senaru. Okay. Because we definitely need to check where they got a champagne more. happy hour at the house of matrimony. That's for later. Healing yourself with others through massage. <laughs> Let's get massages up in the fucking road, let alone at a music festival. Yeah, they have all there of the houses too here. Like Suki. Suki Waterhouse. With her fucking amazing abs. She's got amazing hair there too. She kind of looks like uh, Jenna Ortega there a little bit. Mm -hmm.
At karaoke? What? Yes, we should add that to your thing. Okay. Because we have our karaoke song. Right? Yes. What's your karaoke song? Say it ain't so. Whoa, whoa. Though, doing the uh, Suddenly Seymour was pretty fucking fun. I have to take your word for it. <laughs> I was not there. <laughs> Dude, 070 or 070 shake or however you say that, that was like the most boring thing at Coachella. We're not watching that. I would like to watch Diarrhea Planet because they, remember they played the Miller Light stage thing mm -hmm. that one year and like there were literally people on top of the fucking thing like shaking it. That looks crazy. Oh, this girl. They got Silent Disco at the Who stage. I actually want to check out the Who stage in general. Is that the inflatable one? Uh, it's like the one that looks like a little mini Hollywood Bowl. Where Karuk played, yeah. Because I every like time we wandered over there, it was, I, it was so fun. It was crazy. Big Frida! I mean, I could see Zed's dead. I mean, that's going to be right by our campsite. We'll probably be able to hear it. Dude, we're not going to the three to five one. Oh, uh, he, he's playing at the other. Also. 245 to two. I'm okay with that. All right. I think that's it for Thursday. They have a shadow wagon puppet show, pop up show. Oh, that's, that's in the, in the, that's in the campground. Right? They have so much going on in the campgrounds. I think they've always had stuff going on in the campgrounds. They just haven't put it in the schedule like this yeah this is really really nice all right are we content with thursday yeah but i would like to put something in the since thursday is kind of slim mm -hmm. i propose that we make it a goal to walk to every single campground i can't schedule that we just fucking do it <laughs> well depending on how early we get there too so for people that don't know, we usually fly into Memphis to see her folks, and we've got a lot of friends there and whatnot. Um, and then we just we drive in. So this is going to be the first time we're flying from LA directly to Nashville, and then driving down to the festival. So like we have to like do target stops and get like you know seating and whatever. Um, so this will be this will be interesting. Yeah. Like I think it's going to be exhilaratingly free. I hope we are prepared. Freeing. <laughs> I think it's going to be nice to not have all the stuff. I agree. I agree. Because we never use half the stuff anyway. All I need is a seat and like a beer. All I need is chapstick, gum, and a pair of sunglasses. That's it. That's it. All right. So and I'm gonna, some beer. And some beer. Uh, I'm going to move on to Friday. Um, this, I have no idea what's going on. Aside from like headliners, I don't even know what's going on show wise. I think generally <laughs> when I looked at this, I was thinking that the main stages like the two the what stage and which stage mm -hmm. are pretty heavy for me this year okay which i think last year was a tent heavy year for us yep and well fuck just being there after what three years right we were there. so happy but just in general it was nice having like it'll be nice this year having like a main stage experience right, right. rather than it, it just it you know it waxes and wanes every year for us. Oh shit, I gotta put the head in there. Yep, you better. More on that later. <laughs> That's our time, too. I know. So I put it in there. Okay. Uh, Madison Cunningham sounds familiar. I feel like that's a Nashville mm. artist. I could be wrong on that, though. I like how they have gardening, preventing burnout when you give a damn. Like, they have workshops going on all day. I thought you were going to say worksheets. Oh, <laughs> Kingfish, we have to Kingfish, see Kingfish, non-negotiable for So, me. another, for, like, backstory. We lived in Memphis for four years. Mm -hmm. Well, together for four years. Um, Chris uh, Kingfish Ingram is literally from across the Mississippi River from Memphis in um, West Memphis, or, like, in that area. And never got to see him the whole time we played there or we, the whole time we lived there he would play all over the place he would play festivals and stuff and we always somehow missed him for some dumb reason or another so definitely adding him in laser pants clown carnival i don't know about that i don't know either 
I don't know about that. Okay, dude, you I... Got, you're gonna put AFI. I have to put you AFI. have to. I don't really... My inner care. goth punk teenage kid would be super pissed if I didn't go we to that. We have a clothing swap? That sounds... Maybe while you're at FA, uh, AFI, I'll go to the F -A -I. clothing swap. FAI! <laughs> Psychedelics and cannabis and music. Yeah, I mean, I think they're really going for, like, the... You can go to Bonnaroo and not go for the music. And go for the... Well, they haven't the had, like... And stuff. They haven't had, like, the cinema tent. Right. They haven't had uh, the I miss comedy the cinema stuff. I miss the cinema tent. That was... We got, we saw some pretty awesome. We had some awesome cinema tent experiences that we were did. unexpected. The Charles Bradley one was crazy. Mm -hmm. The one where they were talking about the it sounds so so the 99%. bad. Ninety nine percent. Yeah, it was like the uh, we were talking about like camp campaign finance stuff. Oh, campaign with your finance your brother. Report reform. Fucking exhilarating, right? <laughs> yeah, we went to a music festival and talked about campaign finance reform. Fucking old people. <laughs> Uh, what are your feelings on Black Midi? No idea who they are, but yeah. their picture looks uh, really weird. I'm gonna add it in. It. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but like I have listened to some of their stuff, and I'm, I'm okay with it. Morgan Wade. Who's Morgan Wade? We should be able to listen to it. Can you listen to it while we're in this? No. They took that feature out? That was a cool feature. That was a cool feature, Bonnaroo. I'm going to add that in just to come back. Because I think Morgan Wade is the one I do like. Morgan Wallen is the one that, like, I drops wish they had, bombs. like, a rating system. Where you could put, like, non-negotiable. We'll go see it if, you know, if we can. Oh, sweet. I think my, I think my computer just fell asleep. Mm. We'll just pretend we're still looking at it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, the Midnight Acoustic could be cool. Mm. Are you familiar with them? Mm -mm. Uh, they essentially do like, I don't know, it's it's getting a little bit more poppy now, but I feel like it's shit that sounds like the Drive soundtrack. Mm. Um, but them Acoustic, that could be really cool. The Toyota Music Den, that would be like the Bud Light stage. It's gotta be, yeah. Or the Miller Light stage. Gotta be. <laughs> The Really Wedge Show. That's funny. Gotta go. Right? Should we spill the beans right now? No. Uh, Muna? What are your feelings on that? No idea. I don't know a lot. We of did watch things. them on the Coachella stream, but like it was kind of boring, but I think they were mixed really bad for mm -hmm. the stream. We couch out. We don't ever, we don't ever go. Songwriting for mental health. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add them in. Yeah. Oops. I'm gonna add them in. We can always take it back out. No big deal. I know you want to see Knocked Loose. I have to see. That's like AFI. Like I gotta go to that. My inner hardcore kids like go, <laughs> bitch. I'll I'll, I'll go. Uh, CBC again. So if we miss them on Thursday, okay. I am super okay with that. I don't know any of the. Like I know the names. I just don't know the music. Like DJ yeah, Mel. I know that. Just okay. in case. I don't know what the day looks like. But. For the people that do watch this, they're going to kind of pick up on what's going on. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of you. So. Dude, they're doing it too shit. All my, like, three subscribers. Thank hey. you, by the way. Um, they're like, dude, we thought you were dead. You haven't posted in forever. Uh, Emo Night? Is that a band or, like, I think experience? it's a band. That's not fair. It's at the other stage, so it's got to be a band. But like, emo night is emo Dude, night. Yomi's a harpist. In Portugal, the man, I would, Dude, I've got to put in Portugal, there. the man. But see, that's at what stage? So, I mean, I think so far, Kingfish was at what stage first opening? I wasn't even paying attention. I think that's where Kingfish is playing. Uh, dude, this is a hard sell for me. Alex G? Alex G cuts into Portugal, the man. I mean... We've seen Portugal, the man, but what was the band that... Um, we couldn't hear Portugal the Man when they played. It was like when they're, um, what's the album with the fucking car on it? It's fire when, in front you know, Miley Cyrus came out and said she listened to them, and that's when they got really. Well, they, they blew up because they were in that Apple ad, too. Yeah. It was like that summer, but we burn, couldn't burn, hear them because. Down, 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 that is that song. But it was, uh, what's the fuck? We, we can never remember this, this artist. The 
the band that sang with Ma. With Ma. I gotta look it up. Can I run and go get my phone? Yeah, yeah. We could not hear Portugal the Man at all because this other band was too loud. Uh, Major Laser. Do you hear me? Yeah, but that's not who I was thinking. Major Laser was who was playing. Yeah. It was the bass was so fucking loud you could not hear anything because they were at a tent and the Major Laser was on the witch stage. Jesus Christ, it was so loud. Uh, I'm gonna put Alex G in there. Uh, that's a tough one because he's he was on like my top ten records of last. I want to see Three Six Mafia. Dude, I'm okay with that. I gotta get some. Since we're not going to Memphis, I gotta get some late night tip in my in my Bonnaroo experience. Memphis is coming to us. <sighs> Fleet Foxes. I don't know. I'll put it in there. They were. Better. I would rather go to karaoke than go to Fleet Foxes. I mean, let's be honest. They were better when Josh was their drummer. Yeah. Papa John Booty. Uh, Grizz, non-negotiable. Yeah, Grizz both times, actually, for me. Uh, Dude, Kendrick that Lamar. takes us right into Kendrick. That's perfect. We got to see Grizz, because I don't know if y'all know this, but Grizz announced that he is retiring after this year, or after October. I want to retire at, like, 32, or I don't know <laughs> Well, he's kind of doing what Derek from Pretty Lights did, I guess. Okay, since... Sue, Sylvanesso. That's a that's a given. But since the Midnight is playing literally at their same slot... Mm, splot. Well, splot, slot. <laughs> um, well, it's this and that tent, so I mean, I can't see myself leaving Sylvanesso. No. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Dude, Ooh. that sucks too. That cuts right into Wolfpack too. And I, I don't care about Wolfpack, but you do. I mean, I do. maybe that's where we break up. <laughs> well, no, I care about Sylvanesso, though, too. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to add it in. I put it in just I so you know I don't it's think we're going to be there. Um, and classics, I wouldn't mind going to see maybe before we go to bed that night, but. Well, we don't know it's in the late night yet. That's true. I like how they're playing late through Dude, the, the Funk Hunters. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put- I feel like they didn't have late nights last year at Incineroo. They closed Incineroo. That wasn't Incineroo, that was in Where in the Woods. Yeah, but I'm saying this year they have- Right, like, right, right. Because um, they used to close the big stages, but they have which stage open until 2 a.m. Well, classics, Where in the Woods, even if we went over there and caught a little of their set, yeah, I mean, it does kind of, we have this thing where we always go to Where in the Woods on Sunday. And we're always like, fuck, this looks awesome. We should have been here the whole time. <laughs> but we also leave on that note, you know. Right. <laughs> That's always but, the last thing that we do. But the Funk Hunters were, where did we, oh, we saw them moving for Grizz at the oh, Palladium. Oh, yeah. They are fucking awesome. You're going to be there. So, Where in the Woods. Check that shit out. That is still recording, right? I'd be super pissed. Okay, good. All right. Are we content with Friday? I mean, we're only on Friday. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I'm already getting my money's worth. Okay. I do want to do some yoga at some point. But I can find... I can do the VIP yoga. You can put that in your... Fine. Thingy thing. Um, I'll be sleeping until they play. Sound bath with mythic times. Sounds cool. Uh, what it was sound bath with medieval times. That would be weird. It's gonna be a big turkey leg. Like, <laughs> um, fuck, I was gonna say something. I don't know the moss. Okay, I, I don't think music starts to like three or something. Wait, is that Friday or Saturday for us? Friday. Okay. Friday at 1230. Like this is another one, like Devin McGill Fillion. I know the name, but I couldn't tell you right. any of their music. Well, this is where like we should go through and listen to some of the ones that right, we're interested right. in. Laser paints. I kind of want to see Paris Jackson. Is that weird? No. Okay. 
I mean, I don't know who they are, but... It's... Yeah, it's Michael Jackson's kid. Oh. Okay. She was in um, the American Horror Stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The blonde chick. No, that's cool. Like the girlfriend or whatever of the main chick. Spoiler alert. <laughs> You've had like two years to you watch it. You better say spoiler alert first. You gotta edit it in. You had two years to I watch mean, it. I mean, Devin's playing at three at that ten also. I'm gonna add it in just... Yeah. I'll, I'll give it a give it a go. He's got nice clothes, got a nice afro that I wish I could pull that off. Wish I had hair to grow an afro. Jenny Lewis. Jenny Lewis, not negotiable. Well, see, this to me is where, like, around 4 o'clock is where we're heading to the main stage. Yeah. Did you God. notice that they moved the VIP tent? No. So, remember how you used to have to go through Sunaru? All the way across to get to the VIP tent that's over, and the GA Plus tent was the one that was between which and what oh on the other side they, yeah, yeah. they switched them so now vip is in between which and what which makes sense i know me like, too but refuel and then go the only thing i'm worried about is what was cool about the vip being so far away is that the bathrooms were freaking awesome yeah. over there but now that the vip tent is in between i worry that the bathrooms are gonna get bad like it was good for you well wait because are you talking about the one the one that was over by like the shitty with like, tent <laughs> like i'd like say on shitty. the halfway on the halfway port or point like on the like east side yeah like if you're like you have to go through Senaru to get to it like where we saw a wood that yeah, one. well, like it's like between which, or it's between that and this, I think. It was like along that back wall where we got those donuts. Yes, 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 yes. That yes. so that one was the donuts. Old. The dude that was selling the donuts uh, was from uh, Madison, Ohio. I'm from Geneva, Ohio, originally, which is literally the next town, whatever mm -hmm. east. It was fucking weird. Cards but. Against Humanity with parachute. Oh, cute <laughs> shot. Cards Against Humanity with the Parachute People. Uh, they put their schedule out too today. Mm -hmm. If you've um, not seen the Parachute People, you are missing out. They're awesome. Yep. Oh, and School of Rock in Asheville is playing. Oh, I'll probably add that in. Yeah, that's cool. You know, got, got to support the youths. Our, okay, so if we don't see, because it sounds like Wolfpack is gone. Right. We have to see Corey Wong. Okay. I mean I, I, I mean, I think today I don't care about anything until later. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm more interested well, in seeing I care. him. Let me, I care. I just, there's nothing that's non negotiable until later. Like, I want to see Cheryl Crow. Mm -hmm. But that cuts into fucking, I guess not the whole thing. We couldn't start there and then walk over. I, just, I don't need to see all of Cheryl Crow. I just want to see Cheryl Crow. I don't even really listen to Corey Wong, but I respect him because his plugins with Neural DSP are amazing. And he's a great guitar player. See, I feel so. the same way about Cheryl Crow. Like, I don't really listen to Cheryl Crow, but she's fucking Cheryl Crow. Remember when we saw her at, uh, where was that? Pilgrimage? You're mm -hmm. like, oh, it sounds like fucking Cheryl Crow. Oh, it is Cheryl Like, oh, yeah, Who's she, covering? She's on the bill. Who's covering all I want to do? <laughs> uh, Game of Rent. I don't know any of this stuff. Uh, yeah, me neither. Um... I would be okay with watching the band Camino. Okay, another witch stage thing. Yeah. Uh, Remy Wolf. Done. Yeah, that that's a non-negotiable for mm -hmm. me too. Me too. And what what was the song she didn't play at Coachella? Um, she played Photo ID, but she didn't play the other one, like her other big single. No, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, weekend one at Coachella, like on the stream, we we Coachella the whole thing. We don't mm. we don't ever go. But uh, Remy Wolf was kind of nah the first week, and then the second week was amazing. Awesome. Yeah, so I, she's I think it. that they did better sound the second. Yes, I think the stream out. was produced better the second weekend. Uh -huh. uh, I see Grizz down there. You gotta do. He's doing the Golden Hour show at what stage? The Golden Shower show. <laughs> So that's non-negotiable for me. Yeah. Wait, the, the other show was Friday, right? So yeah. Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Whose spot did he take? Uh, Rainbow Kitten? Rainbow Kitten. Okay. Yeah. Sophie Tucker, non-negotiable. Do you think that's Juvna or Juna? Um, Juvna. 
Junior Varsity, nah. Uh, the name Elderbrook looks familiar, but it's Sophie Tucker still. Like, I know. That shit, I'm going to get weeks. weird at Sophie Tucker. It's going to get weird. I'm going to get weird this whole fucking time. But, um, yeah, we can leave Corey early because he's doing the Super Jam. Oh, uh, yeah, and I want to see the Super Jam. Um, yeah, Sophie Tucker. What's the fun, What's the song? There's that, a lot of people playing this the Super Jam. What, what's the song that Sophie Tucker does that I used to say all of the time for, like, all of April? He does that real like boom, doom, 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 <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Uh, <sighs> it's gonna bug me. We should have done this with split screen and he had YouTube up so we could play songs by these artists. I mean, you still can do that. I know, but it's okay. We'll, that'll be <laughs> video too. We'll take all the ones that we want to listen to, but we don't know who they are. Lil Nas, I gotta see. You Nas. gotta add the Super Jam. Good. I fucked up. Okay. You did fuck up. Uh, what about Bob Moses? Meh. Meh. I'd rather see Lil Nas. I agree. You know, it's always like that. Hold on a minute. Bless <laughs> you. I feel like there's always like a really good closer on one of the nights of the main stage that's always like a hip hop or rap artist that always surprises me. Agreed. Like, I, I never know what... Because there's been a couple of those that we've gone to, and they haven't been that great. Yeah. Where it's like a pop artist that, like, didn't translate well to the Bonnaroo scene. I don't want to call any artists out, but over the 20 years that I've been going to Bonnaroo, there's been a couple of those. Agreed. Uh, I like the name Goldfish. I like Winona Fighter. It's funny. Right. A uh, Big Wild. So, mm -hmm. there's so many big bands, isn't there? Big gigantic, big something, big wild. Yeah, big, yeah. Um, I get them all. We I I we get saw big them. something open for Andy Andy Frasco at the Troubadour, one of the best shows I've ever been to. Um, I thought they were playing this slot, but wrong band, of course. I think the cat's breaking something in the background. Uh, no. Tyler <laughs> Childers. <laughs> should I go check it? Yeah, you should check that. Okay. Something's happening. I think our place is falling apart. All right. I mean, don't take too long. I'm coming back. I don't, I don't see anything. <sighs> that's depressing. Isn't that Jimmy O. Yang that talks about a haunted apartment? How it's sad because, like, he never afforded a house. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Tyler Childers. Know the name, know nothing about the person. Looks I'm, familiar. Looks familiar. I'm gonna add it in because I feel like I have heard his Again, songs. it's a stage band. I feel like we're gonna be at the stages, which is fine because oh my gosh, Odessa is like one of the top ones for me. Well so we can go to that and then make our spot yes. over there. Odessa I've been wanting to see since they came back after pa the pandemic. And oh, because you didn't see him at you've only seen him one time. Yeah, I didn't see him at Bonnaroo the last time they played. I think they played in 2019. They played one of the Bonnaroo's and it it like conflicted with something else. And so we didn't go. Well, and you didn't see him at Memphis in May when I went because you were sick. Yep. That shit was amazing. Come on, computer. There we go. All right. Um, uh -oh. Let me Dude, I like Born. my morning jacket. I feel like they play really well at this festival, but my inner dirtbag wants to watch corn oh, really corn bad. Oh, corn for sure. Dude. Corn, corn over my oh, morning jacket. <laughs> I mean, corn was my first concert. They're at a tent. At Barton Coliseum. Are you fucking serious? They're at a tent. But they're conflicting with my morning jacket. A lot of people are going to go see my morning jacket. I don't think a it's lot... It's fucking... It's cold! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people are going to go to court as much. But we also thought that about Mark Rebier. And, well, and, fucking Tool was like, go watch Mark Rebier. Yeah. And then, like, the whole fucking <laughs> festival was there. But we got there. We were able to get a good spot. And it wasn't too terrible. And it was freezing. It was... We little, were little. right underneath the eight-foot fan. <sighs> I look back and Josh has his hood up like like this. Yeah, she's like, are you having a good time? And I'm like, and yeah, I'm having a like, fucking blast. Like this. this is awesome. This is awesome. And little did we all know, but I was uh, about to come down with COVID oh at the time. 
That's probably where we got it. Right. Or at least it was passed on. I'm gonna add my morning jacket in there. Just so we know. Because we can watch them for a little bit, either right now or right before or whatever. I don't think I don't corn... need to be like up close for corn. I can just like, I would like to be able to hear them, but I don't need to like necessarily see them. And then soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I feel about soundtrack. I forgot they were playing, to be totally honest. Well, that's why I was talking about them the other day. <laughs> well, it's like we were talking about, I've never seen Soundtribe Sector 9. Um, it's always, once again, they've been at the festival, I think, twice since I've been going. Because I've been going for, this will be my 10th Bonnaroo officially. Um, started in 2012, and then with all the pandemic stuff, obviously, this kind of got pushed back. But um, she's been going since the first one. And has probably seen STS9 like a thousand times. <laughs> Not a thousand. No, I'm kidding, but a lot. But like I have seen them at Red Rocks. I've seen them at over but, over the years. I've seen them quite a bit. But we were talking. It's like I don't, I don't know like what they bring to the table. Like I know what like fish brings to the table. I know. Okay, we're back. All right, battery died. Sorry. All right. Sound so, tribe. So sound tribe second night. I've never seen sound tribe. Um, we were talking the other day. Sound tribe. What did I say? Like. <laughs> Uh, but I want to, I just, you know, I watch videos and stuff and unless I'm really like intoxicated in some way, shape or form, it just doesn't look that fun to me. So I could be wrong. Maybe, I don't know. I love the bass player, but I don't know. I just can't. You love him? I mean, do I, I think need to, he's do awesome. Do I need to fight somebody? I think he's pretty awesome. Coming for you, bro. <laughs> Get away from my lady. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add it in. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be able to stay up till 5 a.m., but... Hey, you hey, never know. You know. All right, we're on Sunday. Okay, Sunday. Last, but certainly not least. I okay. feel like this is always, like, the Americana day. <laughs> but I haven't looked at it this time to see. Do you think they're gonna play uh, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers at the what stage every day? Of course. Us up? Of course they are. Yeah, literally, la we, we'd never done VIP camping until last year. Usually we were staying in hotels and just driving in daily. Uh, never do that again. It's mainly me because I hate camping generally. I um, used to camp back in the day. She used to camp all the time. But, um, granted, we probably had COVID in, in hindsight because we got it like, well, we tested positive like right after this. Um, or right after, I guess it was we like were Friday. Rough. Yeah, it was rough. <laughs> um, you know, that's crazy that that was a year ago too. But, um, but no, so like we just kept hearing somebody blasting Tom Petty. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like every morning. And we realized that that's the song they were playing. What's the, the <laughs> yeah. uh, running down a dream or mm -hmm. down the dream, whatever it is. Um, they were playing that to test the sound on the main stage. So it was like Friday morning, you know, prepping for the day. Um, and it's just like, it had to have been seven in the morning. Eight in the morning. It was like eight or nine. Yeah, it was. It was quite early. At least that's had, what it felt like to us West Coasters. But we had been up like really, really late too the night before. Actually, both nights before. Yeah. But uh. Well, and I I was waking up just in utter like horror every night in the middle of the night because uh, I was feeling so crappy. Covidy stuffs. But, uh, but yeah, so we're like, man, there's Blast and Tom Petty just doing the mix and shit. And then the next day, the exact same song. So yeah. it's like, it's a song everybody knows. So it's like, that makes sense. And it sense. was awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. So moving let's get, on. Let's moving get on. to the music stuff. I'm kind of interested about NASA notes. What is that? I don't know. You're talking about aliens and shit. Uh, I do not know what that is. I do want to know who Otto Von Bellotto is. <laughs> What? Otto Von Blotto. Oh, I thought you were making that up. Paris Jackson again. I guess we could put it in there just to I'll see. I don't even know like what her music sounds like. I just know her as a, well, celebrity because mm -hmm. her dad, obviously. But, um... Oh, that's cool. Terrarium building with the garden team. I mean... See, I feel like you could just have a whole Bonnaroo where you just, like, hang out in the academy. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I go for the Merzix. I do not know any of this stuff. No, neither. They have another, the East Lansing School of Rock. Small World Yoga. Yeah, I feel like they have a lot of the same stuff going on. Okay, okay so Franz Ferdinand. For that one song that... My little brother used to listen to Franz Ferdinand. Everyone's little brother did. Drew Holcomb and the New Neighbors. 
be good. I don't know. I'll put it in there. Cam sang with Drew Holcomb, so it's just like kind of a friend mm -hmm. of a friend. That's weird, you know. Hippocampus, I feel like you want to see them. Um, I don't, but I want to see them, like just to see them, because I've mm -hmm. never seen them. Say see them again. <laughs> Bringing Rue magic to your everyday. I like that. Uh, that's cool every to have day. that on a Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to read what it says. Okay. The workshop will help attendees discover how the ability to practice mindfulness goes hand in hand with the act of play. Mindfulness based principles and authenticity coaching modalities will be used to enable principles to gain knowledge of everyday practices to assist with mindfulness. Okay. Maybe I'll learn something to bring back to my work. <laughs> Include a wheel of life activity and more. Fuck it. Let's add it in. It's 45 minutes of our life. Let's add it in. Humphrey's got to see. Like I'm going to make I'm going to make the trek this year. Okay. She has a long history with Humphrey's and it's just like it's how many times, how many thing. how many shows did you see? Over 100. It's quite a bit. And uh in a span of about 10 years I saw them 100 times. Yeah. Less than 10 years. Like but you kind of dipped years. out like when we were in Memphis and like really when we got years. back out here and then obviously COVID kind of fucked all that up. But I lost touch with my homies. Mm -hmm, but we're I haven't back. seen them in a while. Anytime they play fucking Wizard Burial Ground, I am in for the ride. Mm -hmm. The Revivalists. I'm okay with that. They're on the what stage? Yeah. I feel like it's oh, weird. It's, it's earlier. There's a lot of bands that we've known to play tents that have now graduated mm -hmm. to the stage. Like I, it's weird. I consider them like a smaller band, but like I saw Peach Pit. But I don't really. I don't, I don't care about. I don't I'm gonna edit it. I've never added, seen it live. Yeah. I feel like they'd be boring live, but that's just me being jaded. Dude, and this is another. This is another one. This I. Girl in red. I'm gonna talk shit a little bit because I don't understand what girl in red is like I, i've listened to her music i've seen her on she did fallon i think kimmel there's mm -hmm. two talk shows she did definitely fallon but um i just maybe i don't get it i don't know i, I kind of want to see it just to experience it and try to like understand mm -hmm. it i feel like i'm too old i just i'm not getting not getting the why behind it or something mm -hmm. but but i had it well and sometimes artists don't translate to tv right touche um, I have seen Revolution a billion times. I'm good on that. I'm good. I feel like right. Sunday is going to be our day to kind of wander around. Yeah. Um, nah. Maybe Sunday. I mean, Paramore for me is non negotiable. Non negotiable. Um, maybe Sunday is the day we walk around and go see all of the. <laughs> that's always the day that we walk around. No, I mean, walk around the campgrounds. I know, that's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I could see Marcus Mumford. That's a hard pass for me because of the Pixies. Oh yeah, okay, I didn't see that. And then Foo Fighters, obviously. Yeah, Foo Fighters, huge non-negotiable. With fucking Josh Freeze on drums. Yeah. I almost called him John Freeze. <laughs> um, Sunday's kind of like slim for us. I mean, that's chill. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I mean, no, that's a good thing because then we can get all, you know. Get our get our life together. Maybe not have the Bonnaroo blues. The Bonnaroo blues is bad. Usually Sunday is the crazy day for us mm -hmm. where we're like, we can't miss anything. And it's like show, 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 show. Yeah. But. I feel like every other year, once again, minus the last few, um, I feel like it's like either Friday's insane and then Sunday's insane and Saturday's the chill day or mm -hmm. vice versa. Mm hmm. Um, I don't know. Well, no, it'll be good because I think what's what are we up late Saturday night? Oh, let me go back. Whee. All right, so if we go into yeah, I mean Odessa's till twelve thirty. I don't think then, there was anything after that. My morning jacket. It's cold. I mean, it's kind of a late night. <laughs> what was the year? The twenty nineteen where Chromio went on at like. 2.30 or 3 yeah. Jesus Christ. And we were on well, this time. Sound Drive is still five. We'll be at, we'll be at the rail at Sound Drive till five. <laughs> Dude, that's at the other too. So yeah, they're keeping that open really. I mean, that's that what Bonnaroo used to be though. Like they used to have like the 12 to four slot. Mm -hmm. And then that was always like Umphreys, Ween, The Flaming Lips. 
Medeski Martin and Wood. Uh -huh. You know, like they used to have the jam. That was always the jam band slot. I'm okay with that. Yeah. So if we go now, my sketch, dude, that's nice. God, not having a like a digital, um, mm -hmm. like in real time, not having a um, right app last year, just for the schedule was a fucking mm -hmm. mess. We've got a pretty good. The only thing that sucks is like Thursday. We kind of need to get there sort of early. Like if I miss them, I'll be bummed. Wait, they're playing. They're playing twice. Was that the next day or was that later that night? I forget. Uh, next day, I think. Okay, so if we miss them, we can watch them at that Toyota thing. They are really, really Well, good. because we have VIP, it's not going to take that long for right. us to get in. Well, but they're playing over Knocked Loose. Ah. Anyway. I mean, but we're going to have to go to the Targ and get yeah. shit for camping and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know. But, all right. Any uh, last words? Um, we will have some surprises uh -huh, uh -huh. coming, and I think I'm looking forward to a chill Bonnaroo. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's not going to be Weather's supposed too... to be good, knock on well, wood. Well, it's supposed to thunderstorm intermittently, <laughs> but that's a good thing. Any Bonnaroo where it's supposed to rain intermittently, that's always a good thing. Yeah, you I'm want okay it to rain that. intermittently because that keeps it cooled off. Yeah, I'm okay with that. And we have our rain gear, so we're good. Yeah. And with that, I think we're going to sign off. And uh, we'll see you guys at Bonnaroo. Peace.